leukotrienes. Leukotrienes normally come from the leukocytes as well. Leukocytes. We have histamine. We have thrombine and so on. So we have chemical substances which are released from a dead tissue, right? So these substances are present here as well. So let's do something. From the from these chemical substances, we would get histamine. Histamine's primary source is mast cells, and we get thrombine. So these two chemical substances are moving in. Then macrophage has released interleukin. So remember, macrophage releases interleukin 1, 6, 8, tumor necrosis factor, and so on. So that tumor necrosis factor is here, interleukin 1 is here. Right? When these things work here on the endothelium, what happens? So start from here, tissue breakdown products, or release from the defense cells present in this area. Histamine and thrombine, when they come to this cell, so let's quickly check what happens. First of all, I believe that this cell has become a happy cell. So he's a happy cell now because we're talking about him, right? What is going to happen is when the histamine starts and acts on this cell, this cell would contract. So what happens is that the endothelial cells they contract as a result of the chemical mediators coming and attaching to them. Why are they contracting? Because this is a special case here, the tissue is under stress, tissue is being damaged and there are chemical substances which are coming. So once the endothelial cells become contracted, what will happen is there would appear gap between these cells and from that gap we will start having substances leaking into the tissue. This is our start of the inflammatory process. This process is then going to help us bring the neutrophils in here and continue with the, uh, with the uh, defense. So why not we do this thing? Why not we stop for five minutes? We will come back and in our next part of the lecture, the same lecture would continue. In the next part of the lecture, we'll see how the neutrophils come in here. That is the active defense. So we have set up the stage that we are going to defend. So we'll, we'll talk in our next part of this lecture that how the neutrophils would come in and how would they then participate here in the defense mechanism. All right, see you later.